This time we finally empty out Flying Coney's huge fish room. In order to have a proper workspace for the frame repairs, we need to get this area here, the former fish room, empty. So last week we started to rip out the former galley. And this week we will continue by taking down the rest of the walls and the rest of the ceiling and also the flooring. So let's do it. Hello, it's so good to see you again. I'm Barbara and together with Daniel I restored the historic steel ship Flying Coney. We were not sure if we could publish a video this week because our editing laptop decided to break down just when we started to edit this video. Repairing it will take several weeks and that would mean no videos during this time. So we had to find a solution. In the end, the only possibility was to buy a replacement. But because of the different keyboards, we had to go all the way to Germany. And that meant another day in the car and spending three months worth of YouTube income for a laptop, we need to make these videos. So if you ever wondered if YouTube is worth it, but now we can edit again and the good news is there is a video this week. And now let's empty out the former fish room. What's that? This is the reason why everything here is so heavy. The rust from the deck beams. But one millimeter of steel is one centimeter of rust. So there's still a lot of deck beam left. When we bought the boat, we kind of knew that we had to rebuild the interior from scratch. We hoped a little bit that we could reuse a little bit of the wood, but um, now that we have seen how it was built, how the quality is, I think the most reasonable way is to rip most of it out and start from scratch and build a new high quality interior once we are done with ripping out everything. In fact, the broker described the interior as might be partly usable. So it was very clear that it's not normal yacht interior, usable interior. So when we started to rip out the stuff, then we realized how bad the quality of the stuff actually is. So in my opinion, the only option is to rip out everything and start from scratch. Wires, electricity, and also the wood.
So here it's quite obvious how bad the quality of the interior is. That's not the right kind of material, of wood. Also that one is the back of a cupboard or something like that. So if something like that gets wet and after all it's a boat, then it loses its strength and integrity. So it's absolutely the wrong kind of material and it's not sad to rip it out to rip it all out and start from scratch. Interesting. Interesting. Probably the hatch was leaking and over the years the water dissolved the plastic there. Anyway, last time we told you about our Amazon wish list and I want to thank all of you who donated tools from it. We already received many of them and we very much appreciate it. Thank you so much. Usually we name the tool after the person who gifted it to us. But unfortunately Amazon doesn't tell us who bought the tool. So please write us a note so we can give them a proper name and write you a thank you note. The email is in the description. I also want to welcome our new supporter on PayPal this week. And as always, a huge thanks goes to our officers, who go above and beyond to keep this project going. Thank you so much. And now, let's continue with a little bit of tidying up. A big part of the pantry is gone now. So a big part of projects like that is always to move stuff around in order that you can freely move. So the next step is to um, transfer the reusable wood into the foxel that we can continue destroying the ceiling and the walls. You won't believe how time-consuming such steps are. And it also shows another problem. Flying Coney is a huge boat, 
but not a huge warehouse. So we have to decide which part we do want to keep and what we have to throw away because we don't have storage space for everything and we do want to keep the boat operational and you can't have stuff flying around and everything. So we have to throw stuff away, but we try to keep a few parts for the future. Difficult to find a spot where you can begin. Later on, it's a bit easier. Not sure where to I think in order to take the ceiling down, I have to break down this wall, like back in the 80s. Don't hit me. That's pieces of frame. But the frames are fine, it's just a lot of rust. A lot of rust. And even more dust. of ceiling, isn't it? Yes, yes. And that one was a nightmare to take off. I think that one will be easier. There was another repair. No. That was the former. While ripping out the last bit of the ceiling, we found something very, very interesting, which is this, this round bit here, this repair here. And it's from the former mainmast. And also, follow me. And here is the cutout on the deck for the wooden octagonal 
must. And we, when we convert Flyconi into a sailing ship, we will use the, about the same position for the mast. Very, very exciting, yes. is to remove the wall paneling above the insulation to the engine room bulkhead. Behind this bulkhead here is the engine room. So Barbara, what are you doing? What I usually do is I try to take this wall down. Okay. Here we have the different time periods of the ship of interior paneling visible. When she was a fishing vessel, you see the tongue and groove boards here. They're very old, so the paint is coming off. The next time period was when she was a sailing ship. Then they covered it off with a layer of plywood. And the last time period was when she was converted into a motor sailor. Then the covered the walls once more with a thin layer of door skin or something like that to give it a maritime look. And we rip out all three epochs of boat building now. A lot of colors. Here it really doesn't look good at all. It was quite rough. So it's really good that we have it out of the boat, I think. It's the only proper way of doing it, ripping it out and starting from scratch. And this is a trick that works almost every time. I put the hammer in there. Now that I can, I, now I can get the grover in. Open it up a little bit more. Put the hammer in. The grower in again. Done.
Ah, uh, filming. Yeah, I'm filming. Okay. Very interesting. Maybe it's money. I don't think so. No idea. No money. No money. That's very old plastic. We removed a lot of interior today. 73 year old interior and we do stop at this point because the only thing that's left now is this cork insulation to the engine room and we have to gear up and get into the one-time usable suits and change the filters if we do destroy the cork insulation because potentially it's not very healthy to breathe in this stuff. So that's coming up next. So the cork insulation is a job for next week. But before we end this video, let's bring all the stuff we ripped out in the former fish room up on deck. Fortunately, we had some help for this task. Anton and his son Seas joined us to help refitting Flying Coney. We had a lot of fun and they promised to come by at least one more time. So a big thanks to them. And if you want to work on Flying Coney too, I leave a link for you in the description. So the fish room is finally empty and since editing time was a bit short this week because of the laptop issue, it's all we have time for today. But actually Anton and Seas did a lot more than just helping us emptying out the fish room. And that's coming up next week. But before we end this video, I have to explain our wish list. There was some confusion last time because it is in Dutch. We have to use the Dutch Amazon site and by default everything is in Dutch. And we can't change that. But you can change the language in the top right corner. I hope that helps. We will update this list regularly as we move on with this project. So depending on the next task, there will be different tools on this list. And each tool really helps to bring this restoration forward. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.